Tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. Dropping knowledge in the studio, you already know. Thank you for tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. This is the greatest show in Miami and on earth with me and my best friend, my brother from another mother. I'm going to let him introduce himself, but this is Prince Freaky Hakeem. And this is your man, Ronnie Ron, man. That was a great intro because we all are going to be the number one radio show, radio <laughs> podcast in Dade County, baby. In Dade County oh, and in the world, from our lips to God's ears. God, yes, we're sir. talking to you. Trust me. Yeah. God, if you get us to where we at, we'll promise we'll donate 10% of our earnings to charity. Yes. Yes. That's what we do, man. It's, a, it's always been a pleasure and an honor always to be right next to Hakeem because Hakeem be feeding me into knowledge, into like, wisdom. And all likewise, that brother. Steel sharp and steel. You feel me? Yeah, that's real. This is like, wow. This is great. But, yeah, you know, you already know Hakeem. You know, I got another story for you. There's, a, there's another lady I think you already know go by the name of Brittany Renner. Yeah, Brittany Renner. She, um, she recently wrote a post on her Instagram page. No, not a post. Well, she actually did wrote a post and also she did a video explaining the, explaining the fact that she is broke. She fantasized that she's a pro. And mind you, she was dating the, uh, she was dating the ball player. The yep. ball player dumped her and left her. Yep. So now she's complaining the fact that he pretty much left her high and dry. So that must mean that must mean PJ must have had a a prenup. Pretty much, no, they yeah. were never they never married. They were just dating. Oh, so she never married? Oh, yeah. Then no, she married. No. Oh man, so he got so all he paying is child support. Then right? That's all. That's all he was paying. Child oh, he support. lucky man. He lucky. Now, now here's the thing. This goes back to what I'm saying. I can't really use this for her because she was basically I can't say married before you carry with her because. She's what you might call a woman, a woman with a purpose. You feel me? Yeah. She is, she is, she is the type of people we do not like over here. I'm not gonna say I don't like her, I don't know her, but when your main purpose is to get over on dudes and get their money, it's kind of sad. You feel me? Yeah. But remember, once again, um, we as men, the men today, I'm not gonna say men, I'm just calling males. Because not everybody's a man. A man takes responsibility. A man takes ownership. Fact. A man knows what he do when he's wrong. But Fact. these are men. These men today, especially you, you can still be male and still be um, a six-figure male. That doesn't stop you. Money doesn't mean nothing. Money's just a tool. So they end up getting these type of women. The women use them and dog them out. Now the end result of them using them and dog them out. I think the man, the male is done with them. The woman will go now go back post on her page and now bash you yeah make you feel like hey look he's the garbage guy that left me single high and dry and my this is the same woman that was using this. oh my god she was she went on bragging about it. yes she did she actually yes, did and she admitted that she was a um she even admitted that she was an instagram thought yeah she admitted that. and you know what i mean and I, I i we have yet to see one woman checked her chastise her put her in a place um, they applaud her. They celebrated Correct. her. They Fact. say, get, get, they say, get a bag. They they were singing the, they were singing the um the um what you call it the the city girl song. Show you how to pimp a dude and get and mm-hmm. dip on in it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This what they love, right? Yeah. And that's the part. And that's the problem with um. That's the problem with um um for God, the of the, these type of men today. These type of males today. They just pick. They just pick with a with a thing without without picking with their head. So they're not thinking clearly. They just look at the woman's body, which I understand she do have, I ain't gonna lie. She do have a wonderful body. Her body's, you know, banging. So I see why a man would get tempted with that. But sometimes you gotta know when it's a no is a no. No, no, facts. Her body, we ain't gonna sit here and lie. Her body's on point. Body's on point. Her body's on point on point. You know what I mean? And- Crazy. <laughs> and like, like you, it's like <laughs> you know, I can't, you know, I can't speak. Praise the Lord, you know, man. Yeah, but um, yeah, you know, it's um, it's um, it's 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 beautiful, you know what I mean, and and stuff like that. But you want to know something? Um, um, Denzel Washington had a quote. He said that his dad told him, "Her mm-hmm. beauty is not going to raise the kids; is what's in her mind." He said, "Make sure you choose wise." Mm. That what he said. Yeah, yeah, he said he said don't look at a woman for her looks cuz um 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 that's the woman that's going to raise your kid. Mm. I looked at that and I said to myself, hmm, you got the Britney Renners, 
you got the city girls, you got the um um you got the sweeties, and a lot of these guys drooling over these women when really. But they- I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, it, 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 it it's something about them that make guys drool over. You know, like if you you see how we just pause, I'm like yeah, you know, because it's true that some of these women, you know, they have that look. No, they do, they do. But it, it, let, let's let, let's be very serious. Here. You feel me? Mm. Let's be very serious here. We, when me and you just paused there for a minute, we paused because we was thinking about having sex with them, not to marry them. Yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? There's a big difference. There's a big difference. Like, we don't look at those kind of girls and say, hey, I could bring her home to my mom and my dad and we can have kids and raise a family. I was like, damn, I wonder how them cheeks were spread. Facts. Some satin seats or some satin sheets. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like maybe we could try new porno moves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so that that that's one thing with that. You know what I'm saying? But um, let let's get to the nitty gritty of this. So she did post it out a video prior before she did the Deion Sanders video on how to protect young men and Deion Sanders of schooling about groupy thoughts. She said she was broke. She had to go back and live with her mama for a couple months. Ain't that mm-hmm. right? Yeah, she did. So, so all that winning you did, you still can't win because you have to get money off a of man. We get back to the same scenario all the time. A lot of you girls who don't need the only man, I don't want to be disrespectful about it. No, go ahead. Your only claim to for fame is if you get with the right man. And you do need a man. Let's get that straight. But you can't brag about getting money off somebody when you got it from somebody hard work and sweat and tears. You feel me? Facts. And there was a lady who mentioned something about Superhead and a lot of these other chicks. Superhead and a lot of these other chicks who I forgot what the girl name was. It, it who got who got remarried to guys with money. And a lot of time, some, some of those guys are simps. You feel me? And because the thing about it is, I'm not marrying no woman with no history. Like you feel me? And you know what I mean? And and some of these girls look at these girls and say, y'all winning because you're getting married and you, you, you're you getting over. Yeah, you'll get a couple bags, but you'll still be by yourself. Look at, um, what's the girl from Players Club? Which one? The light-skinned one. Uh, Le- uh what, Lisa Ray? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray yeah, was Lisa. the hottest thing growing up for us. And look at her. She's single and she's alone. She can't even pay a man. Listen, I don't want to be disrespectful. But all that pimping she was doing, bouncing from football player to this, getting the getting the bag. Mm. Who's who's in her bed with her tonight? Where's her husband? She don't have any. You know what I mean? Vivica Fox. Like th- there's a list of these women who was doing the same thing that Britney. And listen, to this day, Vivica Fox is over 50 and she says she won't date no broke men. She said mm. a man has to have baby, you're a movie star. And and most of the men who are in your age group are dating younger women. Facts. Most of the billionaires who are in your age group are dating younger women. Facts. Just because you have a little bit more money, you're going to have to be a little bit more sympathetic in a range, but then you might have to just, you know what I mean, die alone. You feel me? But the thing is, Brittany thought she was going to get the bag, still understand that faith without work, you ain't getting nowhere. You did not work for none of this stuff you got. And then you bragged about it, God snatched that shit right up under you. Ah. Facts. Then in the video, she blamed the other guy for, you know, empty promises and tell a woman you have to have your own. We've been been telling you to have your own. My bad, Ron. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm going I'm to agree with you. It's true. What you're saying is true. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm always saying, what, 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 all right. I was like, man, keep going in. Keep yeah. Going. Because we as men, we need to do better in our decision when it comes to women. Really now, all people don't understand, men are the ones that is giving the women these authority, the, this power. Think about it. You feel me? Yeah. Because if a man stop dealing, if, if, if men start dealing, stop dealing with the, the Instagram models, the, the city girl, there won't be any. No, 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 no. They, they'll be done. There won't be. Any. They, they, they'll be right back at Walmart, Target, AutoZone. Um, right. Dunkin' Donuts, Chick Fil A, they'll be right there trying to get their stuff together. Um, trying to work until maybe um the guy in in the guy at the at the um the the one of the truck drivers there might want to holler at her or something like that. 
Yeah, you saw you saw the Amazon when the guy broke over her. Where did she end up going? She went back to her mama's house. Yeah, back to her mama's house. Mind you, she didn't even have a car. Nope. She broke. And she actually said it on the video, she broke. She don't have any money. Yeah. So that's to show you that. That's why I keep showing you that even though women tend to say, I don't need a man, it always go back to needing the man. You're going to form of support, some form of financial support, some form of something they need it from a man. Yeah, they're gonna always need they're gonna always need a man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't let these don't let these women empowerment people fool you and make you think that you can go ahead and function without no dude. And um, you know what I'm saying? I, I think if you don't need a man, then you must you must go and say that you just don't who I might say something real ignorant, man. If you don't say you don't need a man, that must mean you don't believe in God. Mm. I'm a, I, I had to let that. I didn't want to say it, bro. I didn't want to say it because a lot of people are gonna say that 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 was that was very disrespectful. I said it, huh? But I don't see how, it, it can't be disrespectful if it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Not say you said it, but it can't be disrespectful is it if if it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. I just um, I just I'm a little bit perplexed, man. You feel me? I'm a little bit perplexed. You feel me? Then you know, but it but it's the truth. I would say we have, we had that was say we as um we as men we just have to. We just have to make better decisions. But um, now with men allowing these to get away with murder, you see the end result. By you allowing them to get away with murder, now they disrespecting you. On, because a lot of people are like, oh, you know, a lot, a lot, remember, women going to support women. So a lot of women support her. They're like, yeah, you're right. The man is supposed to support you, even though she dogged them out. Yeah. Listen, and, 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 and a lot of them has to understand the situation that they're in as far as when it comes to dealing with people and in, in, in how things are certain one-sided on both of the gender. Women going to believe what women say. Men are going to tend to listen to men unless he might be a beta male. You feel me? Or he he, might, yeah. he, he, he don't have no backbone. But the thing about it is we, 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 we want to support men who are going to do the right thing and support women who are going to do the right by people. If you hear trying to get a person to better your life, then that's the wrong way of doing that. Because if we go back what the Bible said, you know what mm. I mean? You, you and that person become one. You know what I mean? You have to, you know what I mean? Just like a man has to love his wife like he loves the, the Christ. You know what I'm saying? And and her having to be submissive and, and, and for you to create a community, it takes that. You can't come in here with your own arterial motives. You're going to raise or create a broken system. That's why there's no such thing as the black community. The black community, you see, we're going to do an episode. The black community is a myth. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm trying to say? Because if there's not a mom and dad at home and there's not enough married couples, you don't have a fact. That's the principle. Yeah. You have this thing I learned in a um, dictionary. You have an ethnic enclave, a ghetto, a slum, Ray Ray, Pookie, and a couple single moms running around. You know what I mean? But yeah, but it's just, it's just funny. It's just funny how... A woman would do all of this. She will, she will, she will manipulate you into getting a relationship with her. Then soon you get in a relationship with her. Now this is the same woman that's trying to dog you out. Yeah, basically. Very funny. That was it. The Britney, the Britney Renner story right now that's going on. I've been training right now online. It's a prime example of of a woman taking advantage of a man and trying to use society to play victim, with his victim blaming. So people go on her side for her to sell books. It was just a, another way for her to get a, another form of income because according to her, she's broke. But to me, I don't think you broke at all, especially when you went back home to live with your parents. So I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Not only that, a lot of people, a lot of people were supporting her. How about exactly? A lot of people sent her cash out and sent her money. I don't think Brittany Renner is broke the way people are making it seem like she is. Boy, look at here. It's just but, it. better, I King. That's our problem. Men tend to not do better. When we don't do better, you see how the world is becoming. No, you're right. You, funny enough, bro, you always been screaming that. You know what I'm saying? You always been screaming that. But me, even being an older man, I'm sometimes out the loop sometimes. So I'm starting to realize that men has become soft out here. That's why. Yeah. We're, yeah. Yeah. True. yeah. Yeah. And you I, men now are afraid to say, tell a woman no. Men now are afraid uh, to, to, to challenge a woman. Men now are afraid to to be responsible because we're taught something totally different. We don't, that's why I say it's, 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 it's literally is an agenda and is an attack on man. Anything a man do, he's, he's wrong. 
So <laughs> and men don't like to be called wrong all the time. Yeah. Nobody does. So so that's the issue we're doing. And man has now become weak. And women know that and they're taking advantage of it. But they won't take advantage of a guy like you and I. They won't do that. To men like you and I, they won't do that. They just do it like you said to obey the male. Yeah, basically. You know what I mean? Somebody who's easy to manipulate probably didn't grow up with a dad who don't have Black. no cojones. She's able to run him over and talk bad about him in front of Hogan. Mind you, it's the same thing. Have you seen that thing that went viral of that dude who got beat up by his baby mama and she told him she was effing another dude? Why she yeah, was- yeah, I saw that, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, man. I, like, I, 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 we need to talk about that, too. I forgot we got to talk yeah, about that. Yeah, like, like his whole boy, his whole boy, um, his whole boy ass, like, you living with a woman... And you're like, but listen here, it's these guys that these women choosing to have kids with. But when they talk about men, they talk about men from a general. Like we know, like we pay bills over here. So he needed to live with her. You know what I mean? And mind you, look at her too. She was, she's not pretty enough to go, let me not disrespect her, but she's not in that level or that lead to get her a doctor or to get her a a lawyer or something like that. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. No, she got her a homeless guy. A homeless guy that probably was standing at the corner store. And listen, she was a little bit more chunkier than him. And you know, most of the most of the chubby girls like skinny dudes, real dude, like five percent body fat. Um, he looked at real crusty around the eyes. You feel me? Like Dad, you going there? No, because you want to know why she picked him. You know what I mean? Probably ain't shower in weeks. Mm. And then he puts up a GoFundMe. But this is but this is the guy that a lot of these girls in these lower tier markets are having kids with. But when they start talking about men, they generalize all men when she dated a homosexual. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I got nothing to say this. Men, my final words is this. Find you a woman that's not money. Find you a woman that her motives is not only to come in here and to suck up your resources. Remember this. Women we do respect resources. But find a woman who respects your resources and doesn't mind adding into your equation. You feel me? If she listened to the city girl, write her off. Mm. If she's on social media every day, write her off. If she watches Love and Hip Hop, definitely write her off. Mm. Those mm. are the things that, you know, this is my final word. Those are the things that Ben got to tend to understand. Man, you are the general, you are the leaders. Now, when you end up dating these Instagram, Instagram women, Instagram models, Instagram thoughts, only fan models, all, all those different type of women that doesn't better you as a man, this is the end result you would get. You're going to yeah. end with a woman like Brittany Renners. You already know. That being said, KR Culture Radio, we out. Peace. Peace. Man, I just appreciate y'all just listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.